All right, guys. So this next thing we'll be talking about is called adultery. Ooh, yes, adultery. Okay, so it's coming from Leviticus chapter twenty and verse ten, and it says, "And the man that committeth adultery with another man's wife, even he that committeth adultery when his with his neighbor's wife, the adulterer and the adulteress shall surely be put to death. And the man that committeth adultery." with another man's wife, okay? Or with another woman's husband, vice versa, right? When he or she that committeth adultery with her or his neighbor's wife or husband, the adulterer and the adulteress shall surely be put to death. Okay, I read somewhere even here that it talks about them being burned. So what does that mean? We're in a time now where you're not being stoned, at least not here in the USA, but lightning is not coming out of the sky like it used to. You're not being immediately uh, recompensed for your sins. And so adultery and things like that has just become really the norm you know we see tv shows where it just happens adultery and fornication is the two biggest things that we see just it's cool you know we can look at that without blinking an eye and we're finding that going on a lot now you know the thing is if your wife or your husband isn't satisfying you then you know turn them in you know exchange them get another wife get another husband and um the other thing is well if it's too costly to get a divorce then just have you a, a you know a side piece you have someone that you have an affair with and funny enough you know the world is lost and when we were lost we did our share of our our good share of sin and things of that nature but we're finding that even in the churches this is going on and it's it's so justified because well your husband is not being who he should be and your wife is not being who she should be and they did they they had an affair on you and whatever but the bottom line is whatever your spouse has done it does not make you any less accountable to Christ so it feels good for right now and maybe now you're not being pulled out into the, you know, the market areas and being stoned to death or beaten to a pulp. But you have to know that when you're doing these things, that you are still, there's something when you sin and you do adultery, that it, there is an instant account, an exchange that's made between you and that individual. And in the heavens, there's something that's coming. You've already committed it. You see, you're stoning, so to speak, or being put to death, so to speak, is already out there. It's in the atmosphere. And the longer you stay in that relationship and the longer you um, ignore the heeds and the calls of Christ for you to repent and to get out of that, the closer you get to that death sentence. And that death sentence could be in a lot of ways. It could just simply be that you contract some sort of uncurable disease. It could be that that husband or that wife gets to a point where, you know, there is no talking, your life is taken, or just something else evil comes upon you. Because you know, spirit and 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 in the supernatural when you're doing one sin it opens the door to something else so you can be committing adultery here but the enemy opens that door of darkness to bring something else into your life another situation uh, something another stronghold something that will be destructive to you sometimes by you committing adultery and things of that nature and and choosing to live that life what will happen is you know the lord protects us from a lot of things but you do that and then you are you open your door to a murder spirit you open your doors where there's a death a spirit of death that hovers around there's a spirit of a uh, rape or something that's hovering around and you bring these nasty little spirits into your home and trying to figure out what's going on 
You're trying to figure out why all of a sudden you discover that your child is looking at pornography. You're trying to understand how did this happen? How come this is taking place? <laughs> what I'm telling you is this. Committing adultery, there's a moment of pleasure that you have with that person, but there is a there is a far greater price that you're paying for it. And again, just because you're not being stoned, not because just because you haven't been caught today does not mean that you haven't, you know, you're not you have a tab that is set and there are things that you're doing. Spiritually, you set death up upon you. Spiritually, there's a spiritual stoning that's coming your way. If you don't stop while you can, be reconciled to your spouse while you can. Stop what you're doing before it's discovered, because it will be discovered. The enemy lets you have a good time, but he always want to pull the covers back. Don't you know that that is like his greatest, that's just the, the, the best thing that he looks forward to. That's probably one of the most, that's one of the, one of the many things that he looks forward to is to expose the believer. Those of you who are sinners and you live there that way, I, it's wrong. You know it. I can't give you anything else other than to turn to Christ. But if you are in sin and you are a sinner, you're not going to see anything wrong with it until everything comes crashing down. Then everybody goes, oh God. But you can still turn around. So adultery, remember, it's not the end thing. It's not the new thing. God still frowns down upon it by the mercies of Jesus Christ. People are no longer getting the instant uh, physical, uh, you know, judgments from God. But it's only because of Jesus Christ why you're given opportunities. But at the same time, spiritually, the minute you do that, you set something in the heavens. There's something, y'all may call it in the atmosphere, the aura. You immediately set something. Every time you walk out of that house and leave your husband and you tell him a lie, every time you tell him a lie to meet that man, there's something you set up. Then you, you, you check in with the spirit of death. You check in with the spirit of, of, of just darkness. And when you go and you sneak, and every time you're texting while your wife is right there sleeping or bathing the children, and you're texting a woman and you smile to yourself, she don't see it, she don't know. But the heavens, they make a record of it, and you check in with the spirit of darkness and the spirit of death. You're being put to death spiritually, but you're given opportunities to change, to change, to change, because eventually what is being manifested in the heavenlies through your actions that you don't see right now will eventually manifest itself in the spiritual. I mean, will manifest itself in the natural. So guys, the choice is yours. Enjoy the wife, the husband that God has given to you. All right? Those of us who are single, let's not get caught up in that, being the side piece and being whatever. Wait for who God has for you. And that's in my next video. All right? Bye.